Hi and welcome to another editing tutorial on Affinity Photo for iPad. Today we're going to talk about the eyes. Retouching and editing of eyes is something that has been covered thousands of times in different tutorials. But almost always we see human eyes and it's usually a model in a studio. And you have a lot of creative room there because you can change the color of the eye, you can change the brightness and you can do all sorts of things that make some eye more interesting. In bird and wildlife photography we don't have that same option because the color of the eye or the brightness of the eye can mean the difference between male or female in a bird or maybe if it's a bird that's a young or adult. But what we can do is we can give the reflection of the eye and the catch light a little bit extra. So that's what we're going to do today. Let's dig in. I have prepared three different images for today. First one is what you see right here on the screen, the white-tailed eagle. Then we have a robin and I have a horse just because I thought we should have a, a mammal as well. And for that first one, um, let's look at this eagle here. This is a close-up of a white-tailed eagle that came straight at me. And um, I haven't done too much with this. I changed some brightness and a little bit of uh, color balance. But uh, let's see what we can do with this eye here. This is not super high resolution, but it doesn't really matter because what we're gonna do is zoom all the way into almost pixel level anyway. We start off by creating a new layer. It's gonna be a pixel layer. And this layer is just completely empty. So if we remove all the other layers, there's nothing here. Okay, so on this pixel layer, we take a brush, color completely white, and we zoom in and we need a small brush here. We can go for 100% opacity and 100% flow, but we want a soft brush, so leave the hardness at zero. Now we simply take our brush and we paint on the reflection. You can already see the reflection right here in the eye. And what I'm gonna do now is actually just paint over it with white. Like this. And I can use the eraser to maybe remove some of it again if I did a little bit too much. And now I know this looks ridiculous, but now comes the magic. When we take the pixel layer we just made and go to our layer options right here. When we look at these two lines down here, one is called source and one is called destination. These are the blend ranges. And we haven't talked about blend ranges yet. I'll do that in another video where we can go into all the different ways we can use this, but there's endless possibilities of how we can use blend ranges to affect our adjustments. But you know, just to explain it quickly, these two allows us to choose which part of the layer will be shown and which parts will be hidden. So instead of using a mask, we can say that on this layer we just chose here, we only want to see the highlights, so we can move the shadows down or we can choose only to see the shadows, so we will move the highlights down. You can even do different uh, adjustments as you prefer. The other one, this is for the source, so this is the layer itself I'm adjusting. For the destination, I'm still adjusting the layer that we're working on, but I'm adjusting the layer based on what's beneath it. So when I go for this one here, the shadows are on the left and the highlights are on the right. And right now, 100% is shown on both sides. This one is defining which parts of the underlying layer will act as a mask on our current layer, if that makes sense. So I can say that I don't want to have anything on my current layer shown in the parts where there are shadows beneath it. And that's the magic right here. So when I pull this one down, look at what happens with our reflection. The shadows start to shine through and the highlights are still shown. If I remove both, it'll come all the way down. So now I can use this one to adjust my reflection. I can even go here to make it a little bit softer like that. And then we can use our opacity in the layer to adjust how strong we want this effect. So look at this before and after. Very subtle changes before 
and after. But it gives us a little bit more reflection, a little bit more punch to the eye, without affecting the color or the brightness of the eye itself. That was the first one. For the next one is the, the Robin. Same thing, just wanted to show different examples. We create a pixel layer. We take our brush, color white, opacity 100, flow 100, hardness 0. And we zoom in. And we see the reflection here. And we paint. Like that. We zoom out a bit. We go to our blend ranges and we pull down the shadows of the underlying layer to act as a mask on our current layer. And then we can zoom out a bit more to see how much opacity we want. I think around 75, 76 is good. So before and after. Simple. Last one I want to show you today is uh, this uh, foal. This foal is actually only one week old. I was out last weekend and took a few uh, photos of it. And you see this small reflection right here. So this is what we can use. We create the pixel layer. We take our paintbrush, white, opacity 100, flow 100, and all the way down and zero on the hardness. And choose a brush size. And I paint wherever I see the reflection is already there. Just like that. I zoom out, I go to my blend ranges, I pull down before and after. So these are very, very subtle changes, but a small correction goes a long way in this sense. We don't want to overdo anything and we don't want anything to look fake. We just want to give the eye a little bit more reflection and catch light. So I hope this was useful for you. Um, any comments, let me know if you have any questions, if you have any requests for upcoming videos. This catch light uh, video was actually a request on a previous video. So anything you want me to cover in up these upcoming tutorials, please let me know. And if you like the content, please give me a like so I can see that I'm on the right track. This is still a very new channel and I want to try to to find a way where you actually get the most benefit of whatever I'm showing in this video. That's it for me for today. I hope you learned something new and I will see you next time. Take care.